Hi everyone, it's me, Dino. Jessie's on spring break, so she said that I could come visit and teach you about two of my favorite things, birds and recycling. Now, you may not know this, but birds love recycling. Not only does it help make the world cleaner, you can also recycle some things that you might usually throw away and turn them into bird feeders. Bird feeders for feeding birds, like me. So. First things first, let's talk about what we birds like to eat. We love things like insects and worms and ticks for sure. I can't get enough of those delicious ticks. But we can also eat some kinds of people food, like nuts, sunflower seeds, peanut butter, and fruit, including my own personal favorite, apples. And even though we love to eat lots of things humans like, there are some human foods that can be dangerous for birds. The first big one to avoid is chocolate. You might think chocolate is really yummy, but it's no good for birds. So if you're going to put peanuts or other things in your feeder for me, help me out and make sure they don't have any chocolate on them. Thank you in advance. Another food you should avoid is bread. I mean, I'll eat it, but it doesn't really give me the nutrients that I need. Plus, it can attract mice and rats, and as good as I am about sharing, I do like to have my food all to myself. Now that we got our food basics down, Let's make some bird feeders! This one is really fun and easy to make. All you'll need is a toilet paper roll. Heh, <laughs> I said toilet paper! And also some string, some peanut butter, a butter knife or a spoon, a plate, and some bird food! And may I suggest my personal favorite, sunflower seeds? Yum yum yum! Now this might get messy, so make sure you're in a place where it's okay to make a mess. First, set out your plate and pour some bird seed on it. Set this aside for now, You'll use it later. Take some peanut butter and spread it all over your toilet paper roll. Yeah, you're on the right track. Next, roll your toilet paper roll across the bird seed until it's well covered. You're almost there, and I'm starting to drool. All you have to do now is pull your string through the middle of the roll. Then, just tie your bird feeder to a tree. That'll be a great place for me to take a quick snack break later. This next bird feeder is really fun because you can keep filling it up over and over. You'll need an empty plastic jug, a marker, bird seed, and scissors. For this feeder, you should ask for help from a grown-up. First, draw a circle on one side of the jug where you want your birdie friends to get their food. On the opposite side, draw another circle. Next, ask for help from a grown-up and cut the circles out. That looks great! Now you can fill your feeder with bird food. And finally, you can hang your bird feeder on a branch using the jug's handle. No string needed. Okay, I have one more fun bird feeder to show you that's really easy to make. All you'll need is an empty plastic bottle, some string, scissors, bird seed, and a wooden spoon. And if you have an extra pencil lying around, that'll work too. First, mark a spot on the bottle near the bottom, about the width of your wooden spoon or pencil. Now, flip your bottle over and mark a spot opposite the one you just made. Make a third mark about an inch above that one. Then get some help from a grown-up to cut out those three holes. Once the holes have been cut, slide your wooden spoon or your pencil through the two lower holes. Now you've made a perch for birds to stand on and a hole for the seed to spill out. All that's left is to fill the feeder up and hang it outside. By recycling your leftover stuff and turning it into bird feeders, you're helping the environment, which keeps you healthy, and you're giving your neighborhood birds a meal, which keeps us healthy, which is just so sweet of you. Did you make a bird feeder that you want to share? Or do you have more questions for me about birds or dinosaurs or how I'm so handsome? Grab a grown up and leave a comment below or send us an email at kids at scishow.com. Thanks for making bird feeders with me! And I'd like to thank Google Making Science for helping me make this episode. And have a scrumptious day!